the idea that I gave him was that Jim and what's your name? Jim. The, uh, the lawyer. Oh, I... Beth Davenport. Yeah. Had been very close, and one had the impression that there had been a romantic relationship between them. And I said, you know, sometimes when people that you've had or thought you had a romantic relationship gets interested in somebody else, you're absolutely furious, even if they have every right in the world. <laughs> so I said, this dame meets somebody else that she really likes and is having an affair with them, a romance, and you are incensed. Anyway, that was the idea. Steve wrote the script. Now I'm going to direct it. We've done all the location work. We've done everything. Paradise Cove, where his trailer was, was the first scene in the thing that I was going to direct. And I said to the assistant director, listen, I'm scared to death. If I get up at 6 in the morning and have to drive to Paradise Cove to be there that early, I'll kill myself on the street, on the, on the highway. I'll never be able to drive that. Uh, I'll have an accident. I'm too nervous. So would you would you send a car for me? So a car arrives. I get in the car. I'm so nervous. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. And all of a sudden, in the middle of going to Paradise Cove, I can't remember the words you say to start the people and to stop them. I can't remember <laughs> action and cut. That's crucial. <laughs> And I can't remember those words that I knew I had to remember. So when I got there, I said to the assistant director, listen, about uh, the way you start and fit. He said, you mean action and cut? And I said, oh, yeah. Anyway, the first scene, I said action. It started. And it was Jim and a girl walking on the beach toward the camera. And I'm so interested. And I'm looking. And I'm thinking, oh, this is just great. And all of a sudden, the, su the script supervisor, a kind of a middle-aged lady, came up to me and said, say cut. So uh, I, I finally learned to stop watching so intently and to say action and cut. But it was very interesting for me to be a director because I love working with actors. I love being, as I said to Nora Ephron recently, I love being in charge. And a director is definitely in charge. Everything on the set happens because the director says it should. Even they'll come up to you and say, what color should her hat be, green or brown? You have to make those decisions. Uh, and I enjoyed the whole process of film. And I loved directing as much as I had loved everything else. But I was, I, my experience as a producer contributed a lot to my ability to direct because I knew about editing and I knew about, about the script and I knew about the stuff that goes to make a series. So directing for me wasn't like I came off the street. And also... I had hired all these people, so they were happy to do what I asked them to do. And I enjoyed it, and I did a number of shows. That's great. But we had other directors that, that we worked with. When, when a director was good, we hired them over and over again. Well, for you, when you directed, I mean, how did you prepare for that first day? Prepare the way every director has to. You have to, you have to line up. Everything. You have to know every single camera shot, every single one in the script. You have to have a vision of the whole thing. And there was a director who was working at Universal who was very knowledgeable and very successful, John, John Byron. And I went to him and I said, listen, what do I have to know? Is there some secret that I have to know? And he said, there are two secrets. One is, have everything in your mind exactly as you're going to do it. 
And when you get on the set and you start rehearsing, let the actors do what they want to do because they might come up with something you never thought of that's better than anything you ever thought of. And if you have good actors, it happens frequently. Let them have input. Let them be creative. And of course, it was true. With Stuart and Jim, for instance, you didn't have to direct them at all. But anyway, the other secret, aside from letting the... And then he said, if it isn't the way you want it to be, you put your ideas in. You say, no, this is what I want. The other thing is, look in the camera and be sure you're close enough. When you want to be close, the director of photography does not want to be that close because there are problems with, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, Lighting aperture? No. Uh, what do you do? This. Focusing. Uh, focusing. <laughs> it can be out of focus if it's too close. It's harder. So he said, be sure it's close enough. And those were the two secrets that he gave me. Well, they worked very well for me. And I really had a ball.